Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to map your face onto a cone so that when you look down onto the cone you see the face the way it normally was, but if you look at it any other way it looks kind of weird and distorted. So I've got a picture of myself here and the first thing I want to do is um, select the circular region of the image that I'm going to map onto the cone. Um, if you look straight down at a cone you see a circle so we need to figure out what circular portion of the image we want to use. Now normally this um, selection tool is a rectangular selection, but if you hold your mouse down, you can choose elliptic, elliptical marquee tool. And uh, if you want to make a circular selection, you hold down the shift key while you select it. So I'm holding down the shift key, and I'm dragging out a circle. Uh, if it's not quite in the right place where you want it, you can actually just drag that. Just make sure not to drag it off of the image. All right, so here's the circular region that we want. And I'm going to crop, image crop, to just uh, limit myself to working with this portion of the image. Now, um, the, the next step I'm going to do is optional. You don't really need to do it, um, but it might help for cutting it out later. So I want to save this circular mask for later. So I go to the channels uh, uh, panel, and I choose this one, which is save selection as channel. And it's going to create a new channel for me, which saves that selection for later. Now, we're not going to need it right now. So I'm going to choose Select, Deselect, but it's still stored as that extra channel if we need it later. All right. So the next step is to um, transform the image to polar coordinates. And that sounds fancy, but there's a plugin that does it for us, and it really doesn't have any uh, complicated interface. We just choose Polar to Rectangular, and it's done some wonders to my, to my facial design. Uh, but we don't care about that because we're going to sort of fix it later or fix it as much as we can. Um, and the next thing we want to do is we want to scale this horizontally, make it um, narrower than it is tall. So to do that, we can um, select this whole thing. We say select all, and then uh, we want to choose transform, scale. You can also use free transform if you want, but we just want to scale it. So I'm gonna drag this little handle here. I'll drag it about halfway. I'm going to drag it a little bit more than halfway just to make it clear uh, what's going on in the next step. Okay, so now I've scaled it, and uh, I want to uh, complete that selection. You can see that the handle's still there. I can complete the selection by pressing Enter, and now I've got um, uh, I've got my selection still, but I want to deselect it. So now nothing is selected, and then I can do my filter again in the other direction now to map it back to. The cylinder, so now rectangular to polar. Sorry, not cylinder, the cone. Now this looks very strange, but this is actually the image that we want. And if you print it out, um, I'm going to stop the recording now and I'll show you um, the actual printout of what this looks like. Okay, so I forgot one last step, uh, and that was using this mask that I created before, which is stored in Alpha 1. So I select that, choose this button down at the bottom, which is load channel as selection. Okay, so now I've got that circular region selected, and I want to somehow mark that. There's a couple of different ways you can do this in Photoshop, but I think the easiest thing that I can I can do here is um, I'm going to uh, invert the selection. So now I've selected the regions that are outside the circle, and I'm just going to say clear. Okay, so now it's white everywhere that I'm not going to want, and um, uh, and it's colored where, where I do want it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut uh, around the, the cut out the parts that are white and leave the other parts. And then this edge right here, I'm going to tape up to this edge and wrap everything so that it makes a cone. And I'll show you what that looks like in a second. Okay, so um, here's one that I made yesterday, and it's not exactly the same as the one that you just saw on the screen um, because I you know you can't make it exactly the same each way. So this one is almost a perfect half circle, and you can see that I look very strange uh, when it's printed out this way. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flat sides I showed you before, and I'm going to hold those together. Um, if you want, you can tape it together. You can leave a little, a little tab there, uh, a little tab of paper that you can then um, make it easier to tape. I didn't do that for this one. It was just an experiment. And now if you look at it from most angles, it looks strange and distorted, but if I point it, straight at the camera, you'll see that it looks like me. And of course, if we're taped, I wouldn't have a hole in my head. And so when you do this yourself, you're going to want to tape it a little bit better. 
but it's still pretty cool, and I think you'll enjoy doing this. Have fun.